It all started in 1995 when John D. Liu, as an ordinary cameraman, got an assignment to film the Lush Plateau in China. He saw how the local people transformed an area almost the size of the Netherlands from a barren, exhausted desert into a large green oasis. He was baffled. From that moment on, greening deserts became his goal in life. The more I learn about it, the more I become interested in how this might relate to other parts of the world. And it looks like the history of the Chinese in the Lus Plateau is not simply about the Chinese. It's about what happens when human beings don't understand how ecosystems function. That's a short clip from the excellent documentary Green Gold. And the filmmaker is in this photo with me. I was lucky enough to meet him in 2013 and talk to him about his work a bit. But what you could see there just in this short clip was the before and after, which is very, very staggering. Um, but the before actually, um, that was a result of mismanagement of the land. So the land had actually been very fertile before, as in the after photo. And it was usually through overgrazing and nutrient depletion that that soil eventually became the desert that you saw at the end in the before photo. And it's sort of, you can see in that um, transition, what we're able to do to land. So the more we understand, the better we can um, control and utilize nature around us. Welcome to E7.1. Today we're going to discuss salinization, nutrient depletion, and soil pollution as the causes of soil degradation. Let's start off by taking a look at the salinization. So again, three causes of soil degradation. The first one is salinization. So let's visualize salinization. This is a very good picture of it. You can see here the salts have accumulated on the surface and nothing is growing in that area. Here you can see it's sort of closer up. Uh, what's going on there, salts, and then in the background you can see things that can grow. So this, what caused this was the result of continuously irrigating soils. Irrigating means that you're watering them, and I'll just quickly Google you a photo of that so that you can visualize that. These are types of irrigation to water because of course some areas do need more water uh, so that their crops will grow. The problem is, of course, there are dissolved solids, dissolved uh, minerals inside the water that they're spraying. Now when that water evaporates, um, the salts are left behind. So in poorly drained soils, the soils actually accumulate that in the topsoil, and that's what you can see in that picture. So obviously the fact then is that the plants cannot grow if the soil is too salty. The second one is related to nutrient depletion. So again, a nutrient is something that a plant needs to grow. Agriculture actually disrupts the normal cycling of nutrients through the soil food web when crops are harvested. This removes all the nutrients and minerals that they absorb from the soil while growing. In other words, um, if as nature goes, a plant will grow and then die in the same location. Under agriculture, it grows, then we cut it and move it you know, hundreds to thousands of kilometers away. When we move it away, we've taken away um, nutrients and minerals that were there. And so now that soil, it has to come from somewhere because, of course, this is all matter. Matter has to come from somewhere. These are all atoms. So that's where the next fact will come in. So, of course, the effect here is to reduce productivity of the soil. There are not enough building blocks for the next growing season left in the soil because you took it away. Then you're not going to grow as much. So that leads to the next one, which is soil pollution. And that is the result of the use of chemicals such as pesticides. Pesticides are used to kill anything that might be um, affecting, by, affecting the yield of your crop by eating it or um, you know, somehow uh, breaking it down. And also fertilizers. So if we take a look at what that looks like, we can see here, this is basically how a lot of things are sprayed, although more commonly in most Western nations, 
it would look like this. So that's what happens on the farm in Canada. Uh, you just spray as you can see in this photo. So of course that can cause a few problems because you're spraying these chemicals that can kill organisms and bioaccumulate. So there's reduced biodiversity in fields that do this sort of um, heavy pesticide, heavy fertilizer type of farming, industrialized farming. One, and also, of course, the contamination of surface and groundwater can occur as well. This is one of the reasons that some people are choosing to support organics because there is some definite reduction in soil pollution.